Dual Review is brought to you by SpiderWolf.com. On today's Dual Review, it's Dragon Age, Dawn of the Seeker. I'm RJ. Let's get to it. guys, welcome to Thursday the 28th of March. We are doing Dragon Age Dawn of the Seekers. That's right, and this is one that I've actually been toying with doing for a while. Um, I heard back in the day that it had come out and it was all cell shaded and we had this camp of people saying like, oh, it looks so real, and then we had this other camp that says, like, that's just not there yet. Uh, and so I wondered which side I'd be on. I saw a clip of it and I thought I'd be on the side of, it's not quite there yet. And you know what? I was right. I, I am right. When it, it doesn't feel like it's quite there. That cell shading, it just, the figures look too waxy. But I do love the environments. Now, we'll get to the art in a second. Now, the story revolves around uh, kind of the, the same lore that Dragon Age has always had. Um, but we sit in the seat of the Templar, uh, mostly, uh, rather than kind of the rogue faction, you know, that deals with the, the, uh, the mages that have, you know, around the edges and the Grey Wardens and all that stuff. So we are, you know, in the Templar world. We're following Cassandra, who is oddly the only female soldier. She's a seeker. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, she's like, you know, this badass and whatever, but she's the only female. I mean, it's like, that seems, I don't know. And it's like, she's not like noble birth or anything like that. Well, she kind of is. Yeah, yeah she's yeah. dragon hunter kind of thing. She's but it's hunter. just kind of, it's a little off-putting at first for me. But anyway, I love female protagonists, so uh, she is badass at the beginning. I think I think it's a lot of fun. Um, if you don't know Dragon Age, uh, I'm a big fan of Dragon Age. Uh, it is very rich. It's kind of a Tolkien kind of thing. Uh, we have elves and dwarves and you know dragons and all that stuff, and it's a very far spread world, and it's got a lot of lore behind it. I'm not totally sure when this fits in the lore. Uh, they talk about cities that uh, I've, you know, heard of in the games, and I'm just not quite sure if it's before or after the event that I know of, and yada yada, but it stands alone on its own, you know, very well. Um, it is about the Blood Mages, uh, which a lot of Dragon Age stuff is. Uh, magic, if you don't know, in the Dragon Age world, magic is definitely frowned upon. Uh, there yeah. are mages that the Templars use to kind of, con you know, troll their own thing, but they're very uh, oppressed, and they right. don't like it very much. They want to rebel. And so anybody, though, that is out of that circle is now an outcast. And they're like evil mage, you know, whatever. And so Cassandra we meet, and she is, you know, a regular Templar kind of thing. Well, she's a dragon hunter, but she's she's not magic at all. And she sees all magic as evil. Right. She runs into the, the, the antagonists, the blood mages. Uh, and then uh, another mage, which was actually trying to help in the situation. I'm not going to go too much into the story. Because that's really all this kind of has going for it, other than some of the environment art, I think, and yeah, some yeah, of the yeah, action. Yeah. And the animation is not terrible. The voice acting is good. Yeah, the voice acting the lip is good. The lip syncing is, is kind of yeah. great. Um, the, uh, yeah, they just did a software that does like phonetic, you know, um, animations, and it just doesn't fit very often. It's like they didn't tweak it at all. But um, so the story is is just kind of the same old like we we're very familiar with it, but it is from a Templar point of view. Well, it's the so seekers. There's, there's seekers, and then there's Templars. Well, okay, fine. Um, so Cassandra, you know, befriends this mage who was trying to protect, like, her higher up, which, there's kind of a weirdness there, because it's like, he acts so one way, and you, you think that he's gonna be whatever, and then he's not, but it's not like, oh, that was a twist, you know, kind of thing, it was just like, well, then why did he act that way? Yeah, why, yeah, yeah. why did it feel like you were trying to put emphasis on him in that way? I mean, I guess they were just trying to lead us down that path, so that when they did switch the tables, we were like, whoa. Oh, I wasn't so expecting that. It's just a little bit sloppy. But yes. is it bad? No, I don't think it's bad. It's it's definitely a good watch. I don't think I would buy it at full price, honestly. No. Um, I watched it through Funimation. I have recently become a subscriber for Funimation, so I can watch a lot of stuff online. You should be watching. I was very glad uh, of that. Um, because, again, I might want to watch it again, maybe. Uh, there are some fun stuff. I love the beginning battle scenes, a lot of fun. The ogre and the dragon. Oh, yeah, And yeah. her badass dual-wielding kind of thing. I like the dual-wielding. And I do like, I do kind of like, like the statement of, sometimes your sword is your shield and your shield is your sword. Yeah, you know, but that's, kind of that thing. doesn't even come up except for that one time. I yeah, I know, but it. at least it makes you like, oh, yeah, I mean, it, it seems a little too, um, too obvious yeah, kind of thing yeah. that he's going to say something like that. But it's true. I mean, it's, it's kind of an interesting, I mean, at least they took some time to yeah, try to yeah, develop yeah, that yeah. character relationship kind of thing. And, um, but it just doesn't do quite enough, and it's not like, 
I don't buy, you know, that they have like a little relationship going on or they care about each other at all. They don't really. She's just trying to get to bottom of this little thing that happened. And I guess it also feels like it's trying to be this big thing, but it really just feels like, hey, that was a fun weekend, huh? You know, yeah, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. It's like it doesn't really have a lot of weight. But I do think the environments are gorgeous. Yes. Um, uh, in fact, uh, I really appreciate them, like really very much. The animation, again, is okay. The cell shading on the characters is just not so good. It kind of sticks out. Right, but the monsters, I think, were awesome. I like the trolls, I like the golems, and I like the dragons. Yeah. And whatever that blood mage became. Oh, yeah, that was pretty awesome at yeah. the end. The ending ending is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but, yes, uh, I am going to say also that it's kind of a sign of what's to come, I believe. I think that, unfortunately, a lot of the cell uh, work, you know, traditional anime kind of thing is being downplayed because people just don't want to spend the time to do it anymore. Right. It's much easier to do this, especially if it's going to lead to other movies because you can just, basically, you already have the assets and you just start animating them again. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Um, I'm sure it'll get to a point where it, it's going to be amazing as well, but I, I think this is one of those moments that some of that talent and artistry is is getting lost just a little bit, and that makes me really sad. Um, but... You know, I'm not blaming this movie for that, for sure. It's just kind of the trend. Uh, that's what we've seen. We saw um, Berserk, uh, the the Golden Age, um, re redo. Right, Egg of the King. Yeah, Egg of the King, the first arc. The uh, second one's about to come out real soon, I think. And um, that one is a mix of traditional, you know, cell-drawn you know, animation, although it was done in computer, of course, and then the 3D. Right. And so that was, I think, a little bit more of a successful um, foyer into that world. But even that we had some issues with. So, yeah, again, it, it's a sign of the times that I think that, that does carry a little sadness for me. Um, but, again, it's not about this. And if you're interested in the Dragon Age world, I definitely think that this is a fun little ride. Um, I know their books have not been received well, and the comics just kind of so-so. Um, so I think that this might be the most successful outside of the video game when it comes to the Dragon Age. Now, you guys might disagree with me, and that's totally cool. In fact, I would love to hear from you why. Um, but yeah, uh, I do want to see a new game. It made me want to play that game again. I do love Dragon Age 1 and 2, and Origins is okay because it kind of flips the tables a little bit, but, um, yeah. So, that's pretty much my thoughts. Uh, is there anything else that you wanted to bring up? Uh, let's see. No, it's, it's no. kind of short. Yeah, it is kind of short. Um, I was hoping for more, uh, I was hoping for a better story. They, they did a lot of cliche things. Um, but it wasn't so bad where you're like, oh, this is just stupid now. Right. It, it was, was just... it was just teetering on, ugh, you know. So it was like the bad guy wears the stupid like skin mask yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. It's like, and there doesn't seem to that? be any reason, no and they don't knows. explain yeah. it. It's just kind of like, oh, we'll identify him as the bad guy by giving right. him this bad guy face, you know. Kind of I think thing. you did forget to mention how much we like the uh, the blood mages' weapons, the sight spear thing. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Those were cool. I like that. Um, but yeah, just. And the music is good enough that we didn't really notice it. Right, Which yeah. is is good, yeah. but it's not great. Right, right. Um, but yeah, the, this one, in my opinion, just did not make it uh, as far as a good anime. And I'm, 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 I'll be the first to admit that I'm not the hugest Dragon Age fan, but, you know, as far as the story, the animations, or, you know, the, the, the art and uh, everything else that went into it, it just wasn't there for me. I, I, I wouldn't recommend buying this. I wouldn't recommend doing anything with this outside of watching it on Funimation if you already have it. Um, so, in my opinion, no, it wasn't good enough. Okay. I would if you were a fan. I think it, I think it will add something. But, I again, I, I'm a fan, but I wouldn't buy it full price. Yeah, I guess that is one merit. is uh, If you haven't seen any of the Dragon... I mean, haven't played any of the Dragon Ages, this is a standalone story. You don't need to know the history because it's all kind of spelled out for you. It's got but knowing does help. Opening narration. Well, knowing is half the battle. Um, but yeah, so you were in the wrong shirt. That's yeah, I wore that yesterday. For that statement. Yeah. Uh, so so yeah, it was it was okay. It wasn't great. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, tell us what you think. Uh, watch our great playlist. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, art print, short stories, and more. Kickstarter soon. See you later. Oh. Next time, we take a look at Iron Sky. On today's dual review, it's Dragon Age, Dawn of the Seeker. I'm RJ. Uh, Let's get to it. Do I need to move it? Ugh, no. Ugh, no? Ugh, no.
I don't know that qualifier. Sit down, we have something to do. I think I said spider wolf. Spider wolf. Spiderwolf.com. Spider wolf. It's wolf. wolf. Spider wolf. Spider wolf. An arachnid and a mammal. Just put them together. And you get the wolf spider. Spider Wolf, the name actually came from Spider being able to design and having very elegant elegant and cool designs. Webs. They're webs. And then Wolf, because my name Ralph means Gentleman Wolf. And it also has to do with sound, which is where I started. Yep. That's Spider Wolf in a nutshell. Wolf people. Howl. Howling Wolves. Later. Howling Commandos. Okay.